Good morning guys. Today is inspection day and our power pole that we built in the last video is scheduled to be inspected. I just got off the phone with the county and our inspector has been assigned and should be here within the next hour or two to look over our work. So fingers crossed, let's hope this passes. We just finished up with the inspector on our electrical power pole and everything went great. We passed inspection on the first time and now that uh, I know this wiring is good, I'm going to give you guys a, a little look since I neglected to do that on the last video on exactly how I wired up this temporary power. Okay, so here are my plugs in my weatherproof box and I run up into my meter base or I'm sorry, my breaker box, 12-2 wire. I have my hots, obviously, that run into my, uh, my 220 amp breakers, and then I have my grounds and neutrals up on this bar. Now, he passed me for temporary power. This is okay to have your grounds and your neutrals in on the same bar here, but for the house, when we do the permanent wiring, because I will use this box for the garage, uh, I need to hook my grounds into this bar. So grounds and neutrals, they want separated uh, in the breaker box. So this will be a sub uh, panel that goes, uh, that I'm gonna put on the inside of my garage. And then my main breaker box for the house will feed this panel. So, uh, and here you can see my uh, ground, uh, my bare copper wire for my ground rod that is down here. He did have me dig this out. We had some rain last night, so I had to uncover the lug. He wanted to make sure this little screw um, was holding the wire onto the, the rod. So, uh, then coming up from the top on this, I have my two hots that run up into my meter base. So uh, my hot wire here, my hot wire here. Uh, and by the way, this is a number four copper wire and these are I uh, believe number two, uh, THHN wire, which um, is for high heat, and it is a uh, stranded wire, so it's not a solid copper wire. It has a bunch of uh, little wires um, that make up, if you can see that there. So there's my two hots that run up, and then my ground, uh, which is marked by my white um, zip tie, runs up through the pipe into my meter base. So my two hots here, ground, and then coming up the ground and the two hots that go up to the top of my pole. Now, when we use this, this is a 200 amp meter base which will be used for the house. And you'll notice there's a lug here and I don't have a wire coming out. This is for the, uh, when we do the house and, and mount this, my ground rod will be mounted here, so my meter base is is uh, connected to the ground. Um, not necessary for temporary power. He was okay with that not being hooked up right now. Um, he was okay with me hooking it into my, my breaker box. So that is it. That's the inside wiring, and we passed the first time around, so I'm very happy about that. Super easy guy to work with, very helpful asked him a ton of questions while I had him. So um, yeah, we're off to a good start. And again, another box checked. So hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll be doing concrete and then putting sticks up shortly after that. In the meantime, we're gonna finish up installing the uh, water. All right, a little bonus footage for this week to go with our power and pull inspection. We also last week, the uh, cooperative came out and put in our water tap. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so our water tap has been installed. And this is what we're looking at for our water meter. As you can see, I haven't used any water yet. So my fitting that I need to connect into, I'm gonna have to dig some of this out. We've already got dirt in here, but uh, is right here. 
So this is a three quarter inch water line and this is my fitting that um, I need to tap into. So my plan is to dig down here. I'm actually gonna put a valve on that end, uh, dig down here and run some PEX water line. Uh, I'll probably just come up right here out of the ground and just run it on top of the ground uh, and maybe put uh, a stake here with a spigot just so we can get water uh, for the concrete guys that should be here hopefully within the next couple of weeks. That'll be a big asset for them to clean off their forms and tools and uh, what have you with the concrete. So that's our project for uh, today. So wish me luck and let's get started. All right, water is finished. So nothing spectacular here, just uh, ran some packs, three quarter inch packs to a garden hose connection, put a stake in the ground and uh, there we have it. So we'll be able to hook into a garden hose and run water up for the concrete guys and we'll be setting good. So it is hot out here, so I'm gonna call it a day go get some lunch and we'll check in with you guys next time. Thanks for watching as always and uh, we'll see you on the next video.